How's it going guys? Hope you guys are doing well. I'm hanging out right now. Just finished eating breakfast. The holiday is over. It is officially not the weekend anymore. It's Monday, so this means that we have to get back to regular life. And that means like doing regular stuff that you don't do on the holidays. Um, my mom's out of town, so that means I had to pay all the bills by myself, um, which is a little frightening because I'm like, like I normally, I pay the bills already, like, I, like, but my mom's like, okay, pay this one now, pay this one, because she's a little bit technology and um, not there. So I already uh, pay some of the bills, um, like online, but um, with my mom not here, I'm like, uh-oh, and then I got a bill that I wasn't expecting. I was like, mom, uh, how do you want me to pay this? <laughs> like, <laughs> adult things are weird. I also had to return a book for school, um, because I rented a book because it costs like $100 to buy it, and it costed $20 to rent it, so of course I rented it. And, um, yeah, I just had to return it because today was the last day to return the book and I was really pushing it. I've been wanting to fly the drone for the past couple days now, but, um, it's been like really sucky weather and it hasn't been raining, but now it's raining and it's gonna rain for literally the next week straight, just rain. So, um, probably not gonna be able to fly the drone for at least a week, at least. Um, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like after that, but I, for sure I cannot fly the drone for at least a week, which sucks because I really want to. And I like the rain a lot. I love rain, it's my favorite weather, but like, I wanna fly the drone, it's so bad. <sighs> Raina, come here. Here she comes. Hi. <laughs> you guys see the face she just made? I'm gonna play it back in slow motion. Good morning, everybody. We're in uh, Ojo de Agua, Heredia, Costa Rica. It's a swimming, I know, swimming no. place, it's beautiful. <laughs> And I haven't been here in now over 30 yeah, years. It's beautiful. So we're having a great time. Dígale, dígale hi. Is that on YouTube? Oh, hi. <laughs> I thought, I'm Patrick. Hola, ¿cómo están todos? Hi, everybody. Cabe tu pantalla, mi nombre. Cabe tu pantalla para que lo vean. So I'm going to show you a little bit of this place. It's a very old, old um, swimming park complex. Ojo de Agua and... Uh, there's an actual eye, it's like an eye, that's why it's called Ojo de Agua, because it's water, um, eye of water. It's like a natural fountain that, that was here. So the swimming complex was built around this natural water fountain, it's a natural. So anyway, here's some of the swimming pools and way over there you'll see a waterfall. And it's a beautiful natural waterfall that was here. Oops, almost fell. Not too many people here today, but since it's Monday, this is just one of the, the swimming pools. We walk around a little. There's little pools for the little kids. I used to sit here with my siblings, and we used to just have a wonderful time in this waterfall. And I'll be in there in a while, hopefully. This is such a beautiful place and it brings so many memories. Wow, being here with my mother and my brothers and sisters and, and my friends, Gabi and her family. They used to always take me on trips and, and fun swimming adventures and we used to jump off the diving boards. But anyway, this is the whole, the uh, Ojo de Agua eye of water which is a natural water that that was here and they just build around it a little bit and no one gets in there obviously it's probably dangerous but the waterfall at the bottom is from from this from this um this eye of water there's lots and lots of beautiful trees and shade although it's hot and it's summer there's a lot of shade um shade from the trees and beautiful plants I'm gonna show you about the Ojo de Agua. The Eye of the Tiger. The eye of, she says the Eye of the Tiger. 
a hole with natural like water. He just pumps water. water out of himself. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a natural thing, and it says that uh, the water is is healthy, potable. I mean, that's like. Like don't throw in, that's like you can drink this water, it's so uh, clean, but do not throw objects we in beg, it. We beg you not to throw objects or bathe in there. So this Adding, waterfall, it goes down here, uh -huh. goes over here, to the actual waterfall. To the actual waterfall. Uh -huh. The people are underneath. Yeah. Eye of the tiger. I am a tiger, it's a, it's a beautiful place in the world. Let's go, I, hey, don't drink that so much. Yeah, I like the eye. It's pretty cool. This is, I just want to show everybody how Catholic Costa Rica is. Oh, the Patri Patriot Saint of Costa Rica. She's Our Lady of Los Angeles. Let's go see what my dad's doing. He's painting. I didn't want to open the door because he's painting on the wall that's right behind the door, so I just decided to show you a little bit of what he's painting. He's painting that whole room there. And it's coming out nice. I really like the color. And uh, yeah, all right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna edit. That's all you missed today. I wish it wasn't raining so I can get some cool drone footage, but it'll have to wait for another day. So I wanted to say something really quickly. Um, my good friend, Haley Ann Miller, you guys know her, Haley Miller? Should I not say her whole name? She has now made a vlogging channel, so I'm going to put a link in the description if you want to go watch her vlogging channel. But I was thinking about it, I've been asked this before by a couple people. My cousins make videos, and now Haley's making videos and, and stuff like that, and so I've been asked before like, oh, but like, don't you feel weird that like all these people are making videos like after you like you made videos? I'm a firm believer in the fact that there is enough success for everyone. It's not limited to just one person. Like a lot of people feel like the more money this person has, the less money there is for me. And I don't feel like that's how it works. I feel like there is, there is success for everyone if you are willing to work hard for your success. Um, so no, I don't feel weird when people are like making YouTube videos after me. Like I didn't create vlogs. I wasn't the first person to make a YouTube video, so um, I don't think it's weird when somebody starts making videos after me, and I think there's plenty of success, enough success for everyone to go around, so if you work hard at it and you're dedicated to it, you can be successful, and the person who's doing the same thing as you can also be successful. Just because one person is good at something doesn't mean there's less chance that you're going to be good at something too. Just something I, I thought I'd say because um, I've been asked that like more than once and um yeah so i just wanted to put that out there and, and let you guys know so all right go subscribe to all of my good friends and family that make youtube videos uh Haley, layla illy i think layla has two youtube channels now yeah she does so yeah Haley, layla illy lots of l's in their names that really confused me for a second there <laughs> anyways yeah go subscribe to all of them <laughs> You know, sometimes 
I do some weird stuff on the internet and put it in these videos for everyone to see. And then I remember, oh, there is people watching this. And I get reminders like that when I get pictures of you guys watching my videos and pictures of a bunch of people. Oh, it went away. Pictures of all of you guys watching my videos. And then I remember I'm doing all this weird stuff and talking to myself and being a freaking weirdo online for everyone to see. And I wouldn't have it any other way, to be honest. <laughs> Today, I made dinner for the first time in like, since last year. Made some chicken, burnt the chicken. Long story, that's it. Tomorrow my dad goes to work, but he'll be back. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Side note, what is this scar on my lip? You guys see that? What the heck happened to me?